Good evening to all. Let's get going with our little colony and try to make it better. Well, that's the whole purpose of this game, so that should be working out. As we start it up, there we go. We have to put somebody in the society depot if we want to interact with the societies. We've completed a shanty, which is great. That means a better place for people to live in. They'll be less unhappy, although we are suffering from propaganda right now, so that's not the best thing, but it is what it is. Ooh, we still have some sandworms to uh, well, basically take uh -huh. apart. And a lot of other stuff, so let's go with that. Let's go speed 2 for a bit. And let's see what we can do to make some improvements. Now, I think we can get this one, the food storage, out. Because they can help out with these sandworms. That should be interesting. Good evening, Roadhog. How are you today? Bet you had a nice day since Max won again. Alright, here we have the Lunar Dust that's emptied out. Let's get to this big pile first. Another Shanti is ready. Very good. We have to get rid of this contamination though, but for now this is good. I guess we could go with the research towards the hazmat engineering. Although I think we need concrete for that building, so let me find out. Uh, it should be right here. Yeah, there it is. I think we need concrete to build it. Yeah, so we have to go for the concrete first so that we can also start to gather some. So let's research concrete. Let's get that and then let's try to get rid of some of the waste in our little map. That should be a very good and important thing to do. Now... Hopefully the happy bar will go up because the propaganda should wear out and hopefully then these colonists will stay. That would be quite helpful if they did actually. How are we doing here? Four inhabitants, zero, three and four. Okay. Oh, something happened here. That's usually something bad, so let's fix it. interesting so food's no problem right now maybe later on but not right now we don't have a lot of people on the map that could be something to get working on we have 10 survivors ready to join us let's take them in oh that's quite a few we also have creatures going around and other stuff to do on the map but right now i'm happy that we have these here to take all of this apart they're doing a good job at it actually so uh, let's keep them working for now. At a blast, Max first, Lando second, and Crybaby third. Who's Crybaby? <laughs> kind of sounds like it's Lewis Hamilton. I remember he was always crying when things didn't go his way. And when things do go his way, then all of a sudden everything is perfect. Kind of like most F1 drivers though, by the way. Because they all cry all the time when somebody's doing something they don't like. But I guess that's the nature of the sport. Crying all the time, trying to get somebody else a penalty. Reporting in. Reporting in. Well, then go do your job. Your orders? Yes. All right. Whoops, there's some Over stuff ahead. incoming. The sky is falling and we have some issues here. So let's get this repair unit. Let's place it strategically there, and now everything can be repaired. Very good. Ah, I guessed right. <laughs> yeah, well, in Formula 1 it's kind of hard, because most of them are, but... Um, yeah, luckily I was right, I was right. Okay, Blighted Warriors remains depleted, that's good. Yep. Let's get them all to clear this out. Yep. So that as soon as they're all done... We can get the uh, specialists out on the world map. And how was the rest of your day? Because I believe you did something more than just watch Formula 1 all day long. So how was the rest of your day and the start of the weekend? We have a colonist that died. Yeah, happiness is slightly going up. 
We still have three hours before they leave. Hopefully happiness went up enough, but I highly doubt it. But at least soon we'll have the time to go out on the world map again. With our specialists, do some nice work there. Get some research points maybe. Although, ah, we are already researching the concrete scavenging now. So that's a start. What's this one doing? Ah, he's getting blight remains, but they're quite far away. Maybe we should clear out some pollution patches that are close by. Or do some blight. We also can get some blight samples just right here. Which are way closer than all the way over there. Should probably be better. Alright, let's see. Sandworm depleted. Perfect. Let's get a fighter out. Let's get another fighter out. Let's get a scout out. We have to do some jobs out here. Yep. Alright, we have a big beast here. Let's fight it with our two fighters. We have a scout. Do we, we have somewhere to go? No, we have the project tomorrow. Which will take a long time to finish. We can try and get these animals. That could be interesting too. And that puts most of the... A scout. All right, let's send out another scout. That's why they're scouts. They need to be on the map scouting. And... Well, it doesn't really matter where they go as long as they start to scout. Let's go there. Enemies heading your way. Ah, these are moving up and then towards this one. So these two fighters hopefully can... Somebody was ready for action, it says. Yeah, this one is ready for action. Very good. Now, can he already intercept them? He could, but he's not that strong. Ah, these are pretty weak. Let's go there. Showtime. Let's get them. Let's get rolling on the map. Yep. Yeah, all right. They brought in all the food from the uh, carcass. This little area can move too. Perfect. Ah, getting close. Ah, the colonists left. So, but luckily we got the 10 in, so that's good. Good evening, Kevin. I was already starting to wonder where's the great Kevin? But there you are. How are you this evening? I hope all is well. An enraged group is marching towards the colony. Ah, time to get somebody else in the reinforced gate. Uh, let's see what this mean bunch wants. Fatal mistakes. A group of plain looking but obviously angry survivors storms to the gate. They insist one of the colonists stole something valuable and demand to be let in to retrieve it. They look to be rather well armed and fending them off might be a challenge. Should we let them in? Should we ask for details on the supposed theft? Should we go back to the colony? <laughs> That's not an option. Or laugh and say that they can try and get it back. Hmm, interesting. Nice options, but Chad has to decide. Had an interesting evening, met the most beautiful girl who I'm never gonna see again. Ah, why aren't you going to see her again? And how did you meet her? Did you actually meet her or just, did she just ride past you on her bike and no interaction? I mean, now we're all curious, of course. Kevin says laugh and say that they can try and get it back. Ah, interesting option. And Roadhog agrees. So there we go. I guess we'll have to fight. The mockery seems to hit a nerve. The bandits quickly drop their act and rush to the gate. They split up to flank the colony, intent on looting as much as they can. Okay. Oh well, that's not a lot of bandits. Victory! Yeah, we took some of their clothing and a bit of money. Nice. Concrete scavenging is done. We have to set up a new research, which will be the hazmat engineering as soon as we get the points. And we can now start some concrete scavenging. Now, I think there's some concrete over here and here. And we have houses here now. So we could pretty easily build this right here. And put it to work. 
There's quite a bit of concrete here, quite a bit of concrete there. So that should be nice. We have plenty of workers at this point. Yeah, this was a pretty easy bunch. Uh, you, I thought by all that it was saying that it would be a tiny bit harder. Alright, let's see. I want to get another solar panel. Because right now we aren't saving enough solar power to last during the night. So I want to get some extra in. And we've won against a mighty beast. Get some meat and stuff from it. Now let's go hunt this mean guy. All right, there we go. Perfect. All specialists are ready. This one is winning. So let's keep that up. Group of survivors at the gate. Do we get even more people in? Starting to sound really nice. Ah, uh, no um, specialist. The animals are getting bigger and stronger. We saw a wolf with the size of a horse roaming through the forest one night. Oh, that's not good. No adults. One kid and four elders. Should we take them in? I think so. I mean... Everybody that can work is useful to the colony, but it's up to Chet. So you have another election in Holland. Yeah, we have another election, but it will probably be November before it um, it actually happens. So um, we'll take some time. But usually the best times in our country are when the government uh, falls and then stays a little bit in power until the next election. Those are usually the best times for a country, so... That's uh, not that bad. Question is, does Roadhog agree, or is he just dreaming about his mystery girl? And not ready to chat? <laughs> I think he agrees, so I'm just going to accept this, because Roadhog's probably typing a long message. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Well, we have a few extra people in now. <laughs> oh, they start dying of old age straight away. <laughs> Interesting. They were really old, I guess. Alright, there comes the scavenger. So we can finally get some uh, concrete in. We have some rats. I can hear them. They're eating our food. I don't really mind. We have plenty of food anyway. Let's start getting concrete. And then make sure that we can get the uh, scavenger up. Yeah, another solar panel ready. Now we can really start to stock up on some power. And then this one can remain active during the night as well. Not that it's getting that much stuff in right now, but at least it's something. We can put an extra worker in here too. That should get more blight samples. That should help. There's quite a few blight samples there. So that should work out too. Plenty of moon dust. So maybe we can immediately speed up the concrete one to get some extra concrete. Yes. Ah. Not going to this one is already attacking and winning. And this one will help out next turn. Great. We have to start a Doomsday Bunker, by the way. Phase 1. 400 wood, 300 plastics and 200 metal. We don't have that. But we might get it at some point anyway. Let's just up some of the production levels. And then we should be able to get it at some point. 750. We have plenty of people, by the way. Oh, not anymore. A few people died. Four unhappy colonists are threatening to leave. Okay, bye. Guess they think they know better, and that's why they're going to leave. Well, if you want to leave, just leave. Just don't bother us with your presence in our colony. Oopsie. That's another piece of the moon rock. I think they upped the amount of moon rock a little bit because I remember from before we did not get this much moon rocks. So that's nice because sometimes we were not really short but getting on low amounts and right now we have plenty of lunar dust. Let's see if we can do some trading and see if we can also trade for some research points but apparently not. Is there anything else that we might need? Could use some metal maybe. 
or some concrete, but we're just getting that. Yeah, there's not a real lot that we want. Let's see about our quests. We got one done. That's good. And we need to clear the ones that failed so that we can get new ones. Unfortunately, they will not be very happy with us because we failed. But there's plenty of time to make that right. Time to get our first female prime minister. <laughs> Well, that kind of depends on who it's going to be, but maybe, who knows. Alright. We took out a blight creature. Got some uh, nice features there. And let's go do some scouting with our scout. Go, go, Rico. Mission complete. Mission complete. He got some stuff. Alright, nice. Let's do some scouting here too. Let's wait until these are done with this enemy i believe that is the one yeah that is the one that's going for our survivor colony so that's good this one is just flying around well we have a few colonists out or a few specialists out on the map now that really works and already got up to 120 concrete that's going very fast let's speed this one up too and let's get these survivors in. There's only three of them but two extra hands can already make a difference. Especially if you put one in the uh, scrapper for instance. That could make quite a big difference. Let's go over some of our buildings see if they need repairs. And the most easy way is not to click them all but just move the maintenance thing. Is she any good? Uh, nobody knows. Being the leader of the opposition is one thing. Governing the country is a whole other thing. But I guess for all people it goes that we never know until somebody actually does it. So, Alright, seems to be there. We don't need a lot of repairs. So that's good. And I still want to hear the story about the mystery girl, so please enlighten us, Roadhog. Finally, I feel alive. That's nice. Seventy-five people complain of poor shelter, so that means that all the others are happy now with their shelter. That's what we want with the shanties. All right, we got some extra coinage. Can we take this one out? It's evenly matched, so I guess if these two go combined, they'll win. Which is nice. Ooh, got some research done here, or some exploring done. How long does it take? 11 hours to get 247 research points. Let's do that. Where are you heading? Ah, you're scouting now. Very good, very good. Well, one of the things with the Dutch government is that sometimes it can feel like somebody has a real big amount of power, but usually it's not that big. Especially with when there's like four parties in a coalition, as soon as one doesn't agree, nothing happens, and usually Parliament has an okay strong position. There's always the judge you can go to, which... Quite often it's pretty hard on the government, so... It's not like where you have a president in a country that has a lot of executive power. Our prime minister doesn't, so... Power shortage, yeah, I know. But that's why we stocked up on a bit. Hive completed. Ooh, and we're gonna get attacked again. Alright, let's gather some specialists. Can we already... Oh, we can already tell them to attack, I guess, somehow? No, not really. Ooh, that's quite a few creatures this time. 
Let's go try and get them. This one should help too, by the way. Specialist on the world map already. Alright, there's one of my specialists. No, this is a guard. Very good, because they are really strong. This guy should now start to attack there. Alright, doing plenty of damage, but we're out of plastics. So, let's move that. Yep, yeah, that worked. Alright. All right. Well, I think together... These two can take this. Yep, they can. So let's start. We did another recon. Ooh, gonna get some clothing here. Always helpful. Need to keep doing recon though, because we want to see more of the map. Is this one ready? Nope. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, right there. He's doing his... And let's see, because now we have to set these to collect all these... Uh, pieces so let's go and do that let's try and get everything in hazmat engineering is being researched that's the one that we really want mystery girl met in a bar smart beautiful and good curves in the right places and i mean can you tell us a little bit more does she live somewhere near you what's her age um did you exchange phone numbers or an address so you can write her a letter all right, we have some research done and we can also go for the production speed then. I think that'll be good. Let's research that too. And let's see, can we get all that we need for the um, hazmat engineering? Now, it's very tempting to keep it close, but I think I'm going to put it somewhere up here. Quite a bit away from the colony, but that's where we want to get all the stuff. I mean, there's a lot up here too, so we don't want to get too much walking distance is going environmental station will create a lot of pollution but that's okay let's go build them all both then we also need a transformer and some power structures one two three let's get going with that all right we got some extra research points uh, things are going at a good pace right now did some extra recon. Ooh, we can get some weapons here. We can get a nice stash. And this is a perfect science zone again. So we might go for another specialist and turn it into a settler and make another science zone. Just to up the science points. What's up? But uh, it would be nice, Rodok, yes. if you could meet her again someday. Or at least I guess. No phone, but had one evening with her. Ah, that's really sweet. And you never know. I mean, maybe she goes to the bar more often. At least now you know that she did go there on a Sunday evening. So maybe she will again. Or a Sunday afternoon. I don't know when you went. All right, let's get this up because we have a lot of irradiated colonists and we have an old lady. So I need you guys and girls wisdom. Rumors have circulated that an old woman gone eccentric from all the radioactive waste lives in a nearby forest. She's now behind the gate. Nobody admits to seeing her arrive. The woman cackles, interested in riddles, answer this. The poor have it. The rich need it. You die if you eat it. What is it? Is it humility? Uh, I don't think so because you can't eat it. Space. Hmm, never seen anybody eat space. Money. Uh, I think you could die if you eat it, but the rich don't need it. The poor have it. The poor have no money. And the rich have it, and they so they don't need it anymore. And the poor have nothing. The rich need nothing. And if you eat nothing, you die. So I guess it should be option four. Now, Chet's defied it. Rodox says three. Kevin says four. Um, and I probably think that if we get it right, we get a little price. So this time I'm going for option number four. A white toothless smile appears on the woman's wrinkly face. Aye, that it be. She reaches into her robes and hands over a basket filled with medicine before turning around and waddling back towards the forest. Great, we got a nice price. You can always use medicine in this harsh wasteland. As we are already starting to build this. Very good. Let's get this up and running. 
I like the fact that there's a tower here that defends this area. So we are uh, have a defended environmental station. And then let's just get rid of all the environmental hazards around town. And this might be one of the first streams where I actually do what, what's in the title pretty early on. Clean up some waste. So, ooh, the stockpile is full. That's never a good thing. Question is, which stockpile is full? Because this one still has space. This one still has a bit of space. These two are filled up. And I don't see any indicators that there's a big problem with it. Alright, the waste dump is ready. Our specialists are ready. Confirm. Yes. Ooh, nice. Five damage. One day. Can you do it faster? One day, 12 hours. Also five damage. All right. You go get the science points. You go grab some medicine and then come home. Mission complete. Mission complete. Another recon done. And another enemy evenly matched. Let's do some more recon here. What are you doing? Uh, ah, you got the stash. Very good. Let's do some more recon. Let's just keep taking a look at the place. Let's see. Bandit stronghold. Raise the fortified location. Let's locate. Where is it? Right there. And our town is here. So that should be easy once we get a few fighters up. Let's take in some survivors. Well, so far, I have a good feeling about this episode. Things are running okay. Yep. Soon we should get this some power. And then we can... Start to clean up some waste. We've speeded up the waste collection. That's good. Now let's go on to this. Um, trench. I think we should go for taverns and kitchens now. So first for surveillance van. Because then we can help out these societies. And make them join us instead of the enemy. So that will be good. Alright move the work area. Get this close pile first can immediately start to work so that's good we'll have power in the evenings really hope we can get this done quickly Ooh, there just as i said i'm happy with this episode so far we get into some peril pandemic the first signs of a pandemic on a par are upon us at first it's just a cough but then the fever picks up people start dropping like flies and the colony grinds to a halt now it's a question of how quickly you react several staffed medical facilities can nullify it almost completely but if left unchecked it spreads like wildfire all right there we go luckily we've put up the uh, speed in the tents so that's good but i do think we need at least one more tent and maybe even more Let's build it somewhere here. I think we need to spread the tents out over the colony a little bit more. That might help out a bit. But that's no good right now. So we'll have to do with what we have at this point. It doesn't say which storage is filled up. But it might just be good to build, I don't know, a warehouse somewhere. To store some extra goods. Especially in this area where we have everything. Let's do so. All right. Just as well, the old biddy gave you some medicine. Yeah. I like it. That's nice that we got the medicine before the pandemic. Now let's hope it works. Specialist ready on the world map. All right, let's go. He is collecting. He did some recon. Well, let's continue with the recon then. Are you ready with the recon? No, still busy. Okay. All the others are still busy. This is a scientist with damage 20. This is a, scien a scout with damage 20. This is one with damage 9. Oh, we are out of people right now. How did that happen so fast? Okay, that's a little issue. Uh, we need to free up some people. Oh, we're not doing anything with the society depot so that's at least one but it could well be that we need a couple more to breed up all right we have enough metal for now let's get one out of there that should help out same with the plastics i guess yeah okay oh blighted creatures are getting more aggressive again we already had that one so we should expect even more attacks 
The problem with that is... Ooh, the Prepper Bunker mission is available. Let's go check. A note from one of the recent expeditions reveals that there might be an old pre-apocalypse Prepper Bunker in this area not too far from the colony. It was built for long-term nuclear shelter, so who knows what one might fight there. Should we head to the bunker or should we abandon this quest? I'll take a zip from my drink and let you people decide. Adventure it is. Thank you. There we go. Let's head to the bunker. Now the problem is... I first want to do... Uh, this little mission. These seem to be pretty strong. Yes. Let's just take a little gamble. We have a few guards in town anyway. So let's get these two out of here. Let's seek out how strong these actually are. Alright, this is evenly matched. So let's get these two here. So that together they can attack and then we get rid of them and then we can do the other mission and we'll keep at least one specialist at home. Is there anything that we can still collect that's laying on the ground? Nope, we got all the stuff from the ground, so that's good. No more stuff laying around. Surveillance van is ready. Small pollution pile is already gone. That's quickly. Whoops. Now we get into the pandemic time. Alright. What's this? A surveillance van. Yeah, we're not going to do that yet. Let's build a road here. All the way up here. So that they can move a bit faster. Specialists are ready. Alright, let's attack. Ah, they should be able to do that rather quickly. Get some clothing here. You do some more recon. Mission complete. Ooh, also nice recon. Dead Creek, we found another place. Very good. And we do something here. Two days, 11 hours. Um, no. That's a bit too much damage. That's a bit too much damage. All right, the pandemic is here. Hopefully we can deal with it. All of a sudden we have seven people available again. So I guess one of the industries had workers in and then moved out again. Ah, the wood production probably. Well, let's speed up all the other productions too then. And one is injured. Trying to get to the prepper bunker. 11 colonists are infected all at once. That's a lot. 2, 4, 6, 8 can be treated straight away. So the other ones will probably infect quite a few others. Alright, let's move this work area to a place where it can still collect blight samples. Because we need a lot more. I have to go all the way up there now again. I guess it's good that we uh, get the blight samples out, that we start to clear out pollution. Now that should help uh, make this land more habitable. And now we should get these numbers up because I think the next blight lab discovery, let's go check, should be the ones. Yeah, then we can get the exterminators and we can start to exterminate the nests, the hives and the layers. That would be quite interesting. That could be the key to freeing our little colony land here. From all the bad stuff. Ooh, we are very short on water at this point. Whoa, that's not all good. Done. All right, we got some research points. You should return to the colony because you're getting quite hurt. All cleaned up. You did some recon. Very nice. Um, you're still okay. But return to the colony anyway. We need to get a few people back to the colony Consider. for protection yep. purposes. Mission complete. Ooh, another one. Let's do this one. And then you go back to the colony too. <laughs> Pandemic is called COVID-2135. <laughs> Probably something like that, yeah. <laughs> Water shortage. Yeah, I kind of knew that. Not so good. 39 colonists are 
infected. Ooh, uh, we have an incoming attack. Now we have only one specialist available. We have him available though, so he should be helping out. He should be able to do an okay job. There comes a special. Ooh, there comes another one. All right. Getting seriously attacked now. What a shortage. Yeah, I know. We're almost out of water. Which is yep. quite bad, actually. It's over. Good. That should help with the water production. Although the balance is still out because we um, have a few people working the collectors usually that are now sick. So let's get at least one extra collector and maybe an extra well somewhere. Right there. All right, there we go. That should help. They're clearing up this pollution pile rather fast. That's good. Oops. There's some damage again. Lighted warriors remains depleted. Towers and kitchens are ready. I really like the fact that we are able to do some good research with the research lab and the fact that we got some research points from other places. That's really helpful. Let's go to speed one now for a bit because we're going quite fast. There's some more blight samples to be gathered. We have another mission here. Build a hotline. All right, let's locate. Can we already build a hotline? I don't think so, but we can take a look. At least we can now build a few buildings with our friends, so that's good. But we can't build the hotline yet, so that ain't gonna work. Uh, it is what it is. At least we're trying to get to the point where we uh, will be able to do things like that. All right, let's keep the time going. Not too fast right now. Yeah, we have a few people that really need a drink. Let's see, is this one occupied? Apparently not. I wonder why all of a sudden we run such a shortage. And ah, we have no people building this either. So that's a, that's no good. Let's make sure we have people that actually build those kind of structures. All right, this worked out. Yeah, we have no water here. Somebody died. Died of thirst. Not good. Minus 10. So we're getting close to the point where we uh, will get some water again. But we'll have to be fast. Otherwise, they'll just die of thirst. All right, let's get going. Lots of these big bandit places. All right, you return to the colony now. I want a few people back home. That's a fishing hut. Really nice, but um, not what I want to see. Died of an infection, died of radiation sickness. No more free carriers again. Let's get a few fishermen out so we have a few carriers. Let's build this next now because I want it done. Because then we're done with the whole water issue. That will be quite safe to get that. Especially before a lot more people die. Um, and I want to get some more people into the colony again. There's two survivors there. A kid and an elder. Oh well. It's better than nothing. Let's get going. This is really busy though. Already put away quite a bit of pollution. Why is nobody building this? Yep. They should be able to. We have two people freed up. Or are they building the uh, little well first? Ah, they're building the well. Well, that should also bring in some water. So that should be helpful too. Yeah, we're in the plus again. Very good. Very good. That should make people a bit more happy now. Okay. Still 16 infected people. Let's try and use our resources in a way that helps speed things up towards a solution. Let's go to speed 2 again now. I think we can. 
But he died of an infection. That's never good. So, what have you all been doing yesterday? And, of course, the rest of this day. Let's get a few people out. You can always put them back later on. And we have plenty of food. Bonus are threatening to leave. Well, they should not do that. Ooh, another research thing done. All right, let's go get the hidden catch. All done. All done. Very good. They've taken care of that. Yes. Let's just keep them going. Is this one heading towards my science zone? No. Okay, that's good. Let's just take out these creatures. All the rest is fine. Pandemic. Yeah. Luckily, that's over. 236 research points now. <laughs> still a lot, of, a lot of dead lying around. No, oh, there is space still. This cloud looks dangerous. Oh, apparently it is dangerous since it's exploded. Guess this will be the next pollution pile that will go. Two colonists injured. Nobody is uh, infected again, so that worked out. Oh, we have one infected and two injured. That's all. So that actually did work out well. Medium pollution deposit gone. Very good. Let's get this one. That's pretty much inside the colony. Let's get it away. Two survivors joined. Yeah, that's probably the right thing to do then, Roadhog. Yeah, it was really way too hot. Ooh, we can buy some research points and that will also make them more happy. A lot more aligned to us, actually. A hundred and somewhat points. Let's sell some fish to them so we don't have to pay for all of this. Anything else that we can sell them? No. Oh, maybe some pollution. That's always good. Alright, this should be it. Now we have to pay only a little bit of money and we get a lot of research points that we can use to our benefit. So that's good. Nice trade deal. Uh, no, I wanted to click this one. Quest complete. Perfect. Let's claim the rewards. Ooh, nice coins and some nice stuff. Very good. That immediately brings me to another question. Should we get another specialist with all the coins that we have? And turn it into a settler and put it out on a world map or not? Let's see. You wouldn't believe the kind of snowstorm we had to push through. We lost half of our group and couldn't even bury them into the frozen ground. Ah... Three adults, a kid, and three elders. They bring some food. Oh, this is nice. And two of them are infected, but right now we don't have a lot of infected. Should we take these nice people in and use their hands to work for the colony? Roadhog says yes. I guess that's enough. Kevin says yes too. Perfect. Let's go. 97 people. So we grew a little bit since the start. But not too much. Every now and then people still... Uh... Still die or go away or things like that. But it's okay for now. And we can do with the power shortages during the night time. So that works out well too. Yeah, get a specialist. I was thinking so, so let's do so. Prowler, a fighter. <laughs> I got ads at the moment. Ah, okay. Well, thanks for watching them. That's really helpful because that's for giving me the money. So it's same on YouTube. As long as people watch the ads, I make some money. So that's very nice. Let's see. A specialist approaches the gate. It's a fighter. 25 damage. That's really a lot. So this is a very powerful one. So uh, yeah, we'll recruit her. Hopefully put her to good use. What's this? Ah, they destroyed a creature. Very good. Should we immediately go for the other ones then? Yeah, they can. Can easily win. So we should take that one on his own. And this one should probably go... Ooh, this is evenly matched. So let's kill this one first. Then go after the other. This got the stash. Let's do some more recon. 
And we now have a few specialists at home again. Maybe we can send out this strong fighter. Uh, to do some fighting, of course. But I think we need to be prepared for some blighted creature as well. I guess some of our specialists are going home now. If we wait until they get home, we might also be in a good spot. Because that might mean the difference between defending ourselves or not. Silver stolen. Well, we bought the uh, specialist at the right time. Ah, that's a good specialist. Very true. All right, let's start the Doomsday Bunker now. I think we have all the resources. 400 wood, 300... Yeah, we have all the resources. I think it's good to really start with that mission. Now, we should find the right place. I think we should not place this too close to the colony because this is where we have to be safe. Um, could place it somewhere here, but I think this seems to be like somewhat fertile ground. Oops, this is not good. Uh, let's go to speed one for a second so I can actually respond to right. this. Oh, these are the uh, creatures again. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, luckily we have some defenses up, so that is good. How may I help you? But um, let's go and attack Your them. Command? Come on. Two deposits depleted. Ooh. The, uh, this one is depleted. Which is the other one that's depleted? Ah, the moon rocks. Alright, let's get these moon rocks. Colony under attack, but we already fought off a few. We can go speed two again. Ah, victory. Let's make sure we get some of those in for some meat. This is nice. Hostiles defeated on the map. That's a good thing too. Got some extra blighted remains. Uh, I think we should return to the colony now. Let's heal up. Bring back the stuff that we've gathered. More blighted remains that we can really use. We did some more scouting here. Alright, let's see. Interesting, because we were going to build the Doomsday Bunker. And we did not place it yet. Question is where to place it. Uh, I think we should place it in a pretty desolate part of the country. Which could be right here somewhere. Although there is some pollution still here. But we can get rid of that. Um, we could also place it somewhere here. Next to these uh, big pieces. But this is all wasteland so that could be interesting same here or all the way here um so i need some input where should i put it because i want to get it on a nice place but not at some fertile land or something like that all right a lot of the deposits are gone oops some more moon rocks incoming or all the yeah all the uh, meat is in General storage is ready. A couple is arguing. Well, that's usually what couples do. Let's see what they are arguing about. Children's right. A commotion has formed in the middle of the colony. A couple is arguing about how their children should be raised. The mother thinks they should be tasked with handling domestic work, while the father thinks they should be allowed to spend their days playing. Should we side with the mother? Should we side with the father? The children should be educated, or should we ignore this dispute hmm interesting interesting I'm not sure what I would pick so uh, let's see what chat has to say all right just had a big zip from my drink now let's see listen to the father all right we'll side with the father a few colonists cut in, telling the couple that even though things are tough, children should be allowed their childhood. If not, if for nothing else, then to become balanced and happy members of the colony. We get a happiness bonus and an increase in hope. Perfect. Thank you, guys. This is great. That was very helpful. All right. We were talking about the Doomsday Bunker. Somewhere here near the ruins. Yeah, I think that is a very good spot, too. I was kind of hoping for that. Uh, let's rotate it so the road faces that way. 
We'll leave one space open so we can build a road all the way around it. I think this should be a nice place. A bit further down here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's build a road around it. Because that's nice. And let's build a road towards it so that they can actually walk fast. Secure lab is now ready. Perfect. Did some recon here again. Let's do another zone. Are we getting to the top of the map? Yeah, we are getting very close. So that's working out too. Okay. What's this? It's probably not doing anything. No. We're not getting any blighted remains there. So let's continue this way then. All right, I think we should send our fighter out now to go on the mission to this prepper bunker. There we go. That was one of the missions that we accepted. All right, finding the bunker's entrance in the overgrown grass and bushes is almost impossible. But the problem takes care of itself as the door is swung open. Inside is a young girl, clearly distraught and panicked. She explains that her grandfather, with whom she lives here, has gone missing while she was sleeping. Footprints taking off from the bunker lead towards a nearby farmhouse. Go to the farmhouse or abandon this very nice quest. Hmm... Very tough decision. What should we do? Well, Rodox says go to the farmhouse. And Kevin agrees. So then it's on way to the farmhouse. There we go. All right, let's click it so that she goes there next turn. And then we'll see. Trade convoy has arrived. Great, that was some extra research posts. And now we get trenches and trading posts. So we can do more with all the colonists. Not that we can build the hotline yet. That's... Not there yet, but um, get onto the right way. Why am I glowing? Ah, they're going to build the first parts here. We have a hundred people in. That's cause for a little celebration. Metal depleted. Oh, that's not so good. Luckily, there's metal up there again. I guess we now have a secure lab. So we get no more research disruptions, which is nice, but... Quite costly for what it will do. And Doomsday Bunker Phase 1 is ready. Let's read up. Project Tomorrow. The long and arduous effort to build the Doomsday Bunker starts. Every pair of hands capable is needed on deck as the digging begins. The bunker needs deep and sturdy foundations and plenty of construction materials to come to fruition. Among the people, some remain skeptical of the project, thinking it's a waste of time and resources. However, in this world of endless survival, this is the first time they have a common goal. Something to strive for and something to give them the hope they haven't had in a long time. So yeah, let's continue building the bunker. This is nice. And we can continue the project. All right. The endeavor soon turns sour as the scope of the project dawns on people. The project needs much more than just building materials and a lot of work. The knowledge and technology to build something so big and complex has disappeared. With the people that are now gone, giving up now is not an option. And asking for help is considered a sign of desperation and weakness in the wasteland. Option six. <laughs> Despite the risk, it soon becomes clear that, without help, the bunker cannot be completed. After intense discussion, an agreement is reached and messengers are sent to search and invite other worthy societies to negotiations. Time passes and there is no word from the messengers. People have already started to think the worst as a lone smoke pillar rises on the horizon. Alright, let's investigate a smoke pillar. Scavenge or build more tools. Okay. We have tool shops, I believe. Yeah, we have two tool shops, actually. Oh well, it'll be fine. We have an injury. Nothing to worry about. Our colony is going pretty steadily, I have to say. Specialists are ready again. Alright, this is the one doing the recon. Very nice. Let's go up here so we've all the recon in this area done. This one can go into the farmhouse. There we go. Let's continue the adventure. Prepper bunker. The farm's wooden buildings have almost collapsed, but the fields are still fertile. The man in his late 60s is standing 
in the field picking the vegetables. He seems friendly and waves at the approaching stranger. Upon being explained the situation, he scratches his beard. Oh, I could have sworn I left a note. My age must be getting to me. I just went to see if the food I planted here is ready. I would not mind a helping hand, so she won't need to wait for me too long. Should we harvest the crops? Should we intimidate the old man or return later? Well, Rodog is in a good mood, saying we should help harvest the crops. True farmer inside him wants us to help. I agree, but uh, well, Chad has the final say and there's more people, so let's see. Although maybe there's not more people in chat. That's also an option. <laughs> no, we know Kevin is there. Maybe he is in another commercial break. Who knows? And of course, if it takes too long, I just side with Roadhog. There we go. Prepare the bunker. With two pairs of hands, the old man's bags are filled in no time. Much appreciated. I will find my way back home. No worries. Take this as a thank you and some food too. I recommend boiling the vegetables with sugar. It's delicious. The man waves his hand and starts making his way back to the bunker. And we get carrots for it and a moderate increase in hope. I like it. These are the things we want to see. All right, let's return to the colony for a second. So to bring the food. No, I wanted you to go back. All right, there we are. Trenches and trading posts are done. This pollution pile is slowly disappearing. Which is excellent. Rats are eating the crops. That's not good. Pest control. A lot of events happening at this point. Pesky rats have taken a liking to the crops and could very well eat away a huge chunk of them. Colonists spots them scouring a hollow tree chunk. They must have made a nest there. Smoke them out from afar or trap them and harvest their meat. Well, I guess smoke them out from afar Feels a little bit safer. Trap them and harvest their meat could be nice for the food, which we have plenty, but it's it had just has disaster all over it. Probably something that'll go wrong, especially if we see how this guy is approaching it. But let's take a gamble. There we go. A colonist devises a simple trap with some leftover food as bait. It takes a while for the rats to take interest, but once they do, they scurry inside, chasing the promise of a tasty meal. One yank of a string traps them in the makeshift cage, ready to be harvested and made into tasty red burgers. All right, good option. Thanks, Jet. That's great. Got some nice red meat out of that. Let's go over the colony a bit again to see if we need to do a lot more repairs or not. Yummy red burgers. Mm. I don't know. I mean, we're used to eating all kinds of animals and I don't know what it would taste like and whether it would be good or not. Probably will be. Ah, more and more specialists are coming home. That's nice. We should investigate the smoke pillar. So let's send a scout out onto the world map. Let's go find our little smoke pillar. Should be down here. Yep, there it is. And let's go investigate. Same thing with this. Let's go here and find out that we have two elders and a kid in to take in as survivors. Let's bring them in. Need all the helping hands we can get. Is there some moon rocks closer? Yeah, there's a lot of moon rocks closer. Let's get those first. Two hundred and twenty-eight blight samples. We need three hundred and fifty, so we're sixty-five percent on the way. Really hope we can get a quite a bit more. Things have calmed down a little bit in terms of the colonists wanting to leave all the time. So that is a bonus. I think we should now try to increase the amount of shanties that we have. Uh, and I think this might be a nice spot actually next to the doomsday bunker. That should be a pretty safe place. But let's just build a few more shanties to keep this area 
Occupied as well. Basement and research. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's research that. But we also have to find some other stuff. For instance, these things to make the colony more happy. So let's research this afterwards. Okay, there we go. And a question. We have the remembrance one. We have the memorial. Okay. Yeah, we have some production of entertainment. Not too much. But we have the memorial. We have the brawl pit. So let's unlock some more uh, entertainment. Because that will keep them more happy too. Swap to the laptop. Okay, well, glad to see you back. Yes. Alright, let's get into the smoke I'll pillar for the project tomorrow. There we go. The origin of the smoke turns out to be a damaged vehicle. Injured people scramble out and back for help to save their society. The group tried to return back to their home from a scavenging run, but found, a besieged, found it besieged by a large bandit force. The survivors nearly escaped after they drove into an ambush, but not without casualties. The group also mentions that before they left, some new people arrived in their society. The first impression is that those people might have been bandit infiltrators, but... As the conversation goes on, the visitors appear to be somebody very familiar. They must be the lost messengers who are now trapped in the society. Alright, let's liberate that society. He should return to the colony and we should probably get a few fighters out. Question is, where are those societies? Oh, they're all quite far away. To clear out all these bandit camps. They're pretty strong. It's a pretty lengthy mission. Loan a specialist. All right, let's locate Anvil and send them a specialist. Um, let's see. Fighter, scavenger, fighter, scout. Let's send out the scout. And let's loan her to little Anvil to get another mission done. Very good. Why well, wouldn't taste it? My counter so far includes alligator, ostrich, iguana, donkey, and some more. Yeah, that. but that's what I meant. I mean... Some people freak out when you say something like dog or whatever, but it's just what you're learned. We are learned to eat certain animals and not eat certain other animals. But basically an animal is an animal. So why have all these differences and think one is weird and one is normal and things like that. So yeah. Ah, Shanti ready. Perfect. Will people start to live in it? Yes, immediately. A lot of people start to live in it. That's very good. That should get comfort and happiness up even more. I like it. Medium pollution deposits done. Great. This should really help make the colony a better place. Specialists are ready. Ah, we got all the way up into the map. So now this is cool. We found out that. He has also some blight samples. So I think he should return to the colony. Five unhappy colonists are threatening to leave. Of course. Why not? I have suffered enough. Well, then you leave. Bye-bye. I'm happy that this pollution is gone because this was infecting these buildings. And now that should be gone. There's still, yeah, there's still pollution here that needs to go. We still need to get more blight samples, of course. But we are on our way with that. Somebody's malnourished, low on tools, and Flora is now an adult. Okay. Great to know. We need some extra metal. We need some extra plastics, I think. Yes. Well, we don't really need to... Yeah, we need more metal. We don't need to get the concrete scavenger up for producing, because it was already producing a lot. 750. Ooh, we get attacked again. Let's see, because now we have a few people available yes. All right. huh? to help with the fight. There we go. Our guard is starting to fight. That's great. Just have yes. to make sure that the blighted creatures don't infect huh? anybody, because that would be bad. But at least we get some samples again. The colonist is under the weather. Oops, that doesn't sound good. The 
colonist has been acting up lately. He's been getting more and more apathic and he has lost a lot of weight. He complains about stomach pains and says he feels weak and fatigued even though he eats and sleeps the same as everybody else. Well, it does sound like some worm or something. Something is clearly off. Should he go see a medic or should we check his rations? Doesn't sound like something is in his rations. Option two. Says Roadhog. No ads for 10 more minutes, so. Check his rations. Yeah, it could be something in there, but I just think we need to cut him open and find what's wrong in his stomach. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's check his rations. One of the colonists asks to see the man's rations. Hesitantly, he allows it. Sadly, the food doesn't reveal anything. The man's condition deteriorates quickly until he finally collapses and is taken to see a medic. Soon discovered, he has lived with a nasty parasite in his stomach. Yeah, I thought so. All right, well, at least now he's at the medic's place so we can heal him up. Then you have junk and fibers. So what we could do is get an, another tool shop. And another tailor again. Because we are... Oh no, we have enough clothing. We just need more tools. So let's just get the tool shop. Lighted warrior's remains are gone. That's okay. One, two, three irradiated, one infected. Two malnourished. We have all the different types of food. So that should not really be an issue. All right, well, we have all the resources. Let's get two more shant. Three more shanties. No, two, because we also need to heat this area up. So let's build a burner. Did we build a school? Yeah, all right. Seven out of seven kids go to school, but that's fine. I think it's time to start moving towards those bandit camps for a bit. This one does 25 damage, so you can go. This one does 9 damage. Yep. This one does 12 damage. 9 damage. Yep. 25, so you can go 2. Yep. And 20. So we should yep. have quite a bit of uh, damage that we can oh, do yeah. right now. Uh, here's our colony. And then we have to go all this way. But then I think we should be able to do something about it. They're just so far away. It's already 6 turns or 6 times 12 hours before we get there. Then we still have to fight them all. And I don't know if we can clear them all out. Hostiles taken over. Ooh, this is not good. That is not what we want to see. Because now we don't get more research points in. So we'll have to free the research zone soon. What's up? Ah, we'll get to it. Tool shop ready, perfect. Let's get an extra worker in there. Let's start producing some extra tools. A little low on plastics now, but that's because of all the shanties. Five unhappy colonists are still threatening to leave. Some are restless and some have poor shelter, but more and more should be living in the shanties, so it should be better. An enraged group is marching towards the colony yet again. Let's see. A group of plain-looking but obviously angry survivors storms to the gate. They insist one of the colonists stole something valuable. Well, that's the one that we already had. And they want to be, demand to be let in to retrieve it. They look to be rather well-armed and fending them off might be a challenge. So this could be interesting. We could let them in. Well, that doesn't sound right. We could ask them for details, which could be interesting. And of course, we can laugh at them again and try to fight them off. We already were successful at that once, so we know we can do that. Could be interesting to just pick another one for the fun of it. And then see what happens. Kevin says, option four, laugh again. Uh, could be a nice option, of course. I mean, I always like a good laugh, so that would be a good one. Roadhog says two. Well, this time I'm going to go with Kevin. Last time I went with Roadhog. Let's just do the same again. The mockery seems to hit a nerve. All right, they're coming for us. There we go. Ooh, this time it's 13 bandits. That's a lot more. Let's get my specialist this way. 
And we also get attacked now from blight creatures. Well, let's deal with one thing at a time. It's getting pretty close, but I think we can manage. I have to see though, because if it's getting under 20%, they'll blow up the gate. But now they didn't. Perfect. All right. Ah, we got some coins there too. Nice. But uh, five colonists have left. No free carriers. So there's a lot of stuff happening. Let's get a few colonists out of their job. Uh -huh. Let's get these blight remains uh -huh. in. Ready. So we can use them. Gate is critically damaged. That's obvious. So, uh, well, that was a lot happening at one go. But it was interesting. This time they were a lot stronger. Last time were five bandits. Now it was 13. Still managed to destroy them, but it was not as easy. Belinda died. They're all dying again. We're not trading at this point, so let's get somebody out of the trade center so they can do some work. I did not think we put up that much more people or jobs, but... Um, well, we are out now. Ah, but we're also creating some extra firewood at this point. Somebody died of old age. Well, we have no free carriers again. Let's make sure that we get a free carrier or two, so that at least we can carry some stuff around. We really need that. Let's chop a few more trees. Yeah, that's a good option, Kevin. Let's take number two next time. Let's see what happens then if we question them. We'll probably get some explanation or something like that, or they'll just turn mad straight away and fight us even again. But we'll see. Could be interesting. Right, we have some good fertile land here, it appears. Oh, and it's not that fertile. It's okay. If we want more farms, we can. We just have plenty of food right now. As the colony is not really growing that fast. All right, let's get these survivors in. Two adults and a kit. That's a good. That's good. Okay, so where are you heading? Ah, these are heading for this. They're well on their way. That works. He is still getting medicine here, which is taking him yes. way too long. I thought he was a lot faster, so let's cancel this. He got Orders. some medicine, that's good. Question is, can he take out these bandits? Yes, he can. All right, let, we'll tell him to take them out, and we'll send one extra yep. 912. Huh? 9. Yes. All right, let's send this one to the world map too. Yep. She should be helping Go him. Again. So to make sure that we get rid of these... Uh, some shouting and still battle, I think. Yeah, that's what I think too. They'll probably uh, have a bad story or just think, oh, now we get exposed because he's asking details and they start fighting again. Or they start fighting anyway. But um, it's still nice. Oop, something happened. Ah, the fight has started here. He got attacked, but he's defending himself. It's evenly matched, so we should be able to win, hopefully. Ah, we'll find out. Four ads this time. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Well, it's all for the greater good. So thanks for watching them. That's nice. <laughs> so what are your guys' plans for this week? Here it's the first week of the big holiday. And uh, wifey still has to work, but little one will be home all week. So uh, I won't be a lot on my computer. Spending a lot of time with little one and trying to do some chores in the house. To repaint some stuff and things like that. So I'll be doing some sanding and some cleaning and things like that. And streaming, of course. But that should be about it. Maybe record a video or two, but probably not too many. And I know Kevin had a busy week last week. Six days of work. So I guess you have a few days off now. Mason was born, back to health, very good. Still low on tools, but I think 
That's just because we were low on tools for a while, so some people are without tools. We are creating more tools now with the extra toolsmith. So it should be okay at some point. Oops, there comes some bad stuff falling down. Guess it fell somewhere here. Whoa, that's an issue. Let's heal all of that. Three survivors came in from the outpost. Good. Let's make sure we get as much stuff out of the ground now. Let's see, can we do something here? Build a trading post, loan a specialist, but there's already on the way and build up the hotline. Hotline we can't do. Let's see, can we build a trading post in Mole Town? That should be interesting. I just wonder what it's going to cost us. Trading post, yeah we can. 80 wood, 50 metal and 50 fuel. I think we have all of that. And the trade convoy travel speed goes down by 30%. That's great. That would mean faster trade. So let's see. Ah, I don't think we have the fuel actually. No, we have no fuel at all. So we need some people out there to gather some fuel for us. Ah, tonight and tomorrow you're off, Kevin. And then another six days of work or just a few less or... I have nothing planned so far, but we'll see what the week brings. Ah, probably brings a lot of time spending at the bar trying to find the mystery lady. <laughs> Just joking. Let's see, from the shadows. Bandits tend to hawk resource locations and attack unprovoked. And as such, curbing their numbers whenever possible is advisable. The wolf gang are particularly bothersome thanks to their preference for ambushes and surprise attacks. They're often on the move and stop only to rest in one of their fortified camps. Three such forts have been spotted with minimal guards posted in each. So breaking in with force to weed out their numbers might be worth it. Should we attack those camps or abandon the quest? Hmm. Shall we do some fighting or lay back? I know what Roadhog wants. Yeah, there we go. Attack the camps. Well, first we are on our way, of course, to get some of these camps out cleared. Because, yeah, we're almost there now. But, uh, yeah, things will happen. We're going to go for it. Soon enough. First, I need to get some more science points in again. Because we need to do more research. And we need to get some fuel because we accept that, that quest, but um, we don't have fuel. Alright, we are now low on tools. No longer um, no tools. So I guess we are getting positive on the numbers with the tools now. Oh, that waste pile is about to blow and then the one here blowed. So, let's get it like this. And, ooh, it's almost cleared now. Just one piece left to be taken out. So, that's great. Yep, as of Tuesday on six nights on one night off till September. Ooh, wow, that's busy. Yes. All right, interesting. All right, you should get one piece closer, but then you can't attack anymore. So I guess I should get them all as close as possible and then next turn we'll attack. That should be it, I guess. Okay, there we are. Ah, and he started attacking. He is winning though and she can help out soon. So that should work out. Let's keep that up. Five colonists are threatening to leave. Oops. We did manage to grow a bit in the beginning, but now it's stalling a bit because they keep wanting to leave. Alright, we cleared some pollution. That's not really in the way. Is there any other pollution that is really in the way? I think this is a bit in the way. So let's get that cleared. And that should be enough to... Get most of the colony clear, at least. Then we'll go on with the rest. What can I say? The taxman loves me. <laughs> well... If you have to pay a lot of taxes, you've earned a lot of money. <laughs> oh, we have to take out a lot of bandit camps, interestingly enough. All those missions come at the same time. But right now, I'm just really happy. Oh, look at this. You can even see the moon inside the uh, solar panels here somehow, somewhat. Cool. 
A lot of pollution uh, we take out already. There's 32 in there. I like the fact that we can actually clean this area up a bit. Back to health, back to work. That's the right spirit. That's how we deal with things. Alright, specialists are ready. Ah, they won already, so now our science zone is freed up again. Alright, let's get these people back. What's up? Well, not these, of course. These should attack. Attacking, target. Yep. Attacking the target. You Attack. should. Specialists are winning. Now they're really winning, so that's good. This one also helped to freed up. Let's get home. Let's heal up. And then hopefully soon we can start to... Uh, ah. Well, you should return to the colony too. And then once everybody is home, we can send them out on some nice missions to uh, clear up bandit camps and stuff like that. Luckily, those bandit camps are pretty close. Hotline, nice housing. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen because we need fuel first. Maybe we can trade for some fuel. No, we can't. Okay, that's harsh. Um, we could trade trade unavailable, no free workers. Ah, we need to put a worker into the trade center before we can trade, but that's okay. That's fixed. Let's see if we can trade some more research points because I want to get all the researches done, of course. This will also help us get more liked by them. That should work out. We'll give them our pollution. They're even paying some money for it. That's the spirit. Let's see. Let's get them some fish. Since we have plenty. Oh, this will even get us coins. That's cool. Did you ever get the car in your last playthrough? I forgot. Yeah, we did. We did. We drove around in a car. We're a little bit further away from getting a car now, though. That, that should probably take quite a bit longer. All right, what did we set up? I know we have set up something to be researched. Ah, yeah, the shrine. Then we should get the botanical garden and the proper burial. Because that will increase the uh, happiness. Public house too. So, and we need to get more happiness up in the colony. Although we are pretty stable at 100 people now, I think we're actually not doing that bad. We have 51 people complaining of poor shelter, which is half the colony. That also means that right now half the colony has good shelter. And that is... those are numbers I, I don't always get, so... I'm not that unhappy with it. And I think what we can do is just get a few more shanties again. At least two. This whole area is heated up anyway, so why not? Let's just build a lot more. There we go. That should get a lot more people in a nice living environment. With less happiness penalties. Plastics depleted. That's happening quite a bit now. Luckily, there's more plastics on the map. That's one of the things we also have to start researching. Getting the automation stuff. Power source tools, smithing so Industrial mining. That's what we have to head for. To get this stuff out of the ground. There's plenty in the ground. So no worries when we get to that. But uh, we need to get to that point at some stage. What's this? Ah, specialist is ready with the mission. That's great. That should bring us back some... Ooh, what's this? Fuel. How much is in here? 44 fuel. That's a lot of fuel. Ah, we should send a scavenger there to get that fuel. Unfortunately, we have only two people in the colony right now, so that might not be the best idea, but I'm still going to do it anyway. I don't care. Let's take a little gamble. Get some fuel here. Is there fuel closer by? I don't think so. Not really. At least we'll have 44 fuel. Maybe we can get some more somewhere else. Two survivors from the outpost arrive. Five colonists left again. Because happiness was not high enough. Alright. Dropped a like. Hope you're all okay. Yeah, we're all okay. Let 
let's see four constructions finished that's good i'm thinking of pre-ordering cs2 never did that but willing to take a gamble well cs2 could be like counter-strike 2 but it's probably city skylines 2 i have a really good feeling about that game too and i can't wait to start streaming that as well that should be so much fun Let's just hope we don't get attacked right now. Jack was born. We have place for 146 people. What we could actually do is get rid of a few tents because we have so much space right now. And this will also force people to live in a nice household and not in just a bad tent. So this could be very beneficial. Also gives us a little bit of space to build an extra shanty here, for instance. I don't think we can fit in two, but at least we can fit in one next to the burner. And another one right here. So that should be nice. Yeah, there we get attacked. I was afraid of this. And I think we've won the first battle here. Project Tomorrow. Bandits often ransack societies and colonies, but the level of organization and preparedness of this group is highly unusual. The most surprising part is not the high quality nor quantity of their supplies, but the fact how clean everything is. You can, How can somebody have stuff that looks almost new? These are still two encampments around the societies. The people in the besieged colony must be starting to run out of hope and resources. They don't know that help is coming, so there's no time to waste. But then the expensive one with the first four DLCs. Oh, that's nice. Well... I say go for it. Yes. I don't Sir, think you'll regret it. Alright. Um, let's go continue. Okay. Let's prepare okay. everybody here. So as soon as we can see this zone. We can start to continue with our attacks. I think this should work. Uh -huh. And all the rest is just going home. So that's good. Let's continue right here. We have another batch of pollution cleared. That's perfect. I think we should work our way up let's get these two patches now and then later on we'll get the other ones let's clear this out all right there we go unpause let's clear out these blighted warriors or at least try to do that well this works our tower is helping out our guard is helping out and we've managed to do it perfect perfect 90 bucks is a lot but worth it i think i think um yes it's a lot but i have the other city skylines too which is a great game although it was the first time they did a game like that and i think it shows and i also think they've learned a lot from the first version and from all the modders and things like that and they're incorporating a lot of that into the second version and I too have a really good feeling about the second version. I think it, it's going to be a great game. Definitely has a lot of potential. And I don't think you'll be uh, in for wasting your money. It'll be great. Ah, we're now researching the shrine. A trade convoy made it. That's great. Starting to get rid of this pollution now. Finally making some progress again. Still a few unhappy people. Hungry, poorly nourished. Hmm. We did get some more good shelters, but people are not living in it. That's part of the issue. Plenty of jobs there, though. I think we should get rid of a few more tents. We now have place for 142 people. So let's kill a few tents. Alright, this is now 12 people less. Yeah, still plenty of space. So no worries. We can kill all these tents. Whoa, a lot of stuff happening. Group of survivors at the gate. Great. Let's see. You know what I miss? Honey. I can't find any bees anymore. I don't know if they're gone or just hiding. We get a kit, five, uh, an adult, five kits and three elders. They bring fuel, which we need. They bring tools, some canned food, and some pills. 
and we get an increase in hope something that we also can really use so i think we should take them in even though six of them are injured but that's fine and this is nine extra people that should be excellent kevin agrees so that's good gonna start a new game too much new stuff to learn yeah that's true that's true All right, that worked out. That went well. We now have quite a few injured colonists. And we have somebody turning on us, but we have plenty of guards here, so no problem. We have all these people here doing a nice job. Ooh, we found another town. Sin Town, sounds interesting. Okay. Let's just prepare How may I help you? for the next fight. All right. Reporting in. Yep. Uh -huh. She needs to get into place too, and then next turn we can attack. This one is on the way, this one is... Yeah, these are all on the way. They're getting quite close to being home, so that's worth it. That's perfect. No trade deals, but that's fine. Oh boy, we're very busy. 111 people. We have space for 124. And a lot of people are now actually living in the shanties. So that's that's... Really moving in the right direction. I think what we could do now is keep building shanties and keep destroying a few tents so people will actually get out of them. And we can maybe build something else here after the tents are gone. And we get some resources from it, so why not? Let's just destroy two first and then see... Space for 118 people, but here we get another four, I think. Lighted Warriors remains. Ah, we're now up to 309. So we're getting very close to the point where we can build the Exterminator. I really want to see how the Exterminator works and what we can do with that. Should be really interesting. Any repairs? Yes. Yeah, I was thinking might need some repairs up there and we do that's good researching the shrine is going well still a few sick people but apparently all the spots here are filled up ah we get another attack but now we have a few more What's up? specialists or two specialists at home so that should do something good actually do get more and more attacks so getting clear of all these uh creatures would be great he's fighting now too let's go speed two again there's a big difference between speed one and speed two actually that's interesting all right let's kill them all and they're gone whoa another batch of uh moon rocks incoming how much damage did they do hopefully not too much well, apparently it's okay. Five unhappy colonists are threatening to leave in a day. Of course, why not? Why stay for a while if you can actually leave? What's up? All right, let's continue here. Let's go on the offensive again. The enemy is winning though. And now the specialists are winning. And now we are doing a very good job. Excellent. We now have extra specialists. Oh, there we go. I was waiting for it. It was a, It actually took us quite a long time before we got another winter storm. But here we are. The first flakes of snow and morning frost are telltale sills of an approaching winter storm. Colonists struggle to keep warm as the weather quickly shifts from chilly to freezing with heavy snowfall burying everything in its path. Luckily, we stocked up on firewood. We have plenty of food. We just have to go to speed one and start making sure that we get all the harvest in. And after that, we can check if we actually have enough heaters all around town. And then things should be fine. All right, this should be the farms. Let's go to our heaters. All right, we have a burner here that works pretty well. We have one here that works pretty well. All areas covered. Here, everything is covered, more or less. Here, everything is covered. Okay, so we don't need extra burners. At least not at this point. And we do need to get to industrial mining. So let's go with that. 
Somebody is in anguish. Not so good. I think it's time to hold a feast to get the hopes up. Select a feast. 20 entertainment and a major increase in hope. We have all the resources, so let's hold a feast. That should keep happiness up a bit. One injured, one irradiated, six mutated. We should be able to um, heal up those. So we are okay. We have ice fishing as well. So that should not be too much of a problem. Lighted warriors remains done. Shanti done. Only 48 people are now complaining of bad shelter. That number should drop. Because more and more people are living in a shanti. All the harvests are getting in. This pile is getting rid of. What else is there to build? Ah, the shrine. We need 35 fun boxes. We have only one. So we need to get working on some fun boxes. Yep. Are there remains? Yes, there are still remains to be taken in. Let's go do that. Yes. Ah, I get a message here that I got an achievement. Cut down a hundred blighted trees. I don't think you guys can see that. Um, because it only captures the game and not the extra messages that I get. But we got an achievement for it. We've cut down a hundred blighted trees, which is nice. Getting really close now to the point where we have enough points for the exterminator. Kind of sounds like the terminator. Well, you're on our way. We have a lot of concrete. Could use a bit of extra plastics. We have good amounts of wood. All in all, I'm pretty happy. Ah, another attack. Luckily, more and more of our specialists get home. How may I help you? And it really helps all the attacks to get all the necessary points, of huh? course. The uh, blight uh, creature points. So this is okay. They can keep coming. We'll just keep attacking them. And see what we can do with that. There come the specialists. Reporting in. Can they actually attack buildings? No, he's just hanging there. He's not attacking a building. Colonists under attack. Yeah, they can attack colonists. And they can also infect them. And once they do... Might get uh, ugly. Because they can infect each other. Almost a bit like zombies when they bite each other and stuff like that. So that's not good, but um, oh, this looks okay. Let's get back to speed two. Right. Ooh, there's the winter storm. Always a tough oh, one, yeah. especially if it lasts quite long. But um, I think we should be okay. And I think we actually made quite a bit of progress so far. Only he's not doing that bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. I mean, we're not there yet. Should not be cheering, but... Um, blighted nest spotted. What should we do? That's an interesting option. Colonists have discovered a blighted nest in an abandoned shack inside the colony walls. They can hear a rumble and buzzing sounds indicating something has been stirred up. Should they try and pluck some of the nest entrances immediately or just run? <laughs> interesting options. Cover the entrances or run? Hmm... Option two, run. <laughs> Everybody's just telling us to run. No, it's interesting. Just as I get a compliment, it looks really good. So far we get this. Well, let's run. The colonists fall back in a disorganized fashion, trying not to trip over each other just as a group of blighted creatures emerges from the nest and beeline towards the colony. Whoopsie. Okay. Question is, which creatures are they? As long as it's just these drones, we're not that bad. Oh, just two pairs of drones. They'll be shut down easily. Yep, there they went. All right, victory. Ah. Uh, went better than I thought, so this is good. And hopefully this gets us all the amount that we need. All styles defeated. Ooh, good. Good, good, good. That's just one more to go. 
No one else has come to the society's aid. In a world like this, cooperation is rare and altruism unheard of unless there's something in it for both parties. Based on their equipment and tactics, the group was from the same faction as the first one. Some of them have an insignia that resembles a shattered moon. What are they after? The society under siege should not have anything worth that much effort. Alright, let's defeat the lost encampment. I wonder if we can do it at one go. I think so, because we've already defeated these two and we're all still over halfway health. So I think we should just uh, get there and prepare. And then go for it. But that's just my thing. Let's see. We have a quest completed. Perfect. Get some reputations point. We have a quest failed. That was bound to happen anyway. Gate fortification, trading post, and nice housing. Well, we have to get the trading post up first. For that, we need the fuel that we are gathering. But this is okay for now. All right, these all have to wait. Uh -huh. This one is already gathering the fuel. Hopefully, she gets back soon. We can try to finish that building. Silver stolen. Ah, that's okay. Lighted warrior's remains get emptied out. That's good. Just 16 more to go. Really wonder what the um, blighted thing needs. Do we just upgrade this one? Or do we have to build a whole new building? All oh, colonists decided to stay. Oh, that's good. I think happiness is pretty good. Because, yeah, the poor shelter is getting down. We only have 40 people now that think they have poor shelter. How many people still live in a tent? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 30 people still live in a tent. I think. Are those all the tents? Yes. Okay, so we have only 30 people living in a tent. Need to gather up on some plastics now though. But then, once they all get into a shanty, they should be even more happy. Health plus 50. Let's go. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Let's just go for it. Try to get this mission over. Then we can also get them back and go for the other encampments that we have to do for the uh, From the Shadows mission. So, um, yeah, it should be interesting. But we also have some stuff to do. Better weapons would be nice. Yeah, well, you can't give the specialists any better weapons. That could be an addition, though, that you can customize your uh, specialists. But, um, yeah, that just ain't the case. All right, there we go. They can all go into the offensive now. Evenly matched. But with this one, we should probably be winning. Yes, we'll only take two days. So hopefully it works out. Otherwise, we'll lose a specialist. And what's this? A mechanical workshop. You can now get a mechanical workshop and get some of these uh, parts. But we have plenty now, so I'm not going to build that yet. Because we don't have a need for it right now. And just a small pollution patch here. And then this area is all clear. Great job. Four blighted remains until we can get a nest. Is there anything that we can get out here? Any creature that's still laying there that we can strip? No. So we'll have to wait for these trees to... Uh, for these guys to do the job. But they're busy with it, so that's good. We have an upcoming problem. Unborable hunger. A pack of boars has been causing trouble for a while. They are circling around the colony, clearly looking for food. The colonists wonder if they should, if the issue should be addressed before they get out of hand or somebody gets injured. Should we attack the pack, lure them away with food, lure them away with some other food, or ignore the issue? Hmm. I don't think ignoring it is smart, otherwise we would not get this event. Could lure them away, but they could just be back and apparently we have to pick the right food which is probably meat but i don't know or attack the pack while well, roadhog is going for the attack yeah i think that's the best option too kevin agrees let's attack the pack the colonists gather around the far edge of the colony waiting for the pack to pass as the boars roam into sight the colonists strike at them the pack goes wild and charges back all right now we'll have to fight them Let's just pause and make sure that our specialists get into place. All right. 
Where are they all? Well, they're pretty close here, so that should work out. Should start to fight these two. And then there's another one somewhere here that we'll charge again at soon. Let's first kill these two. Alright, those are gone. Now let's attack this one with everybody. <laughs> they take the road because it's the fastest way to walk, but... This beast is just running around like crazy. Now he's attacking the Shanti. Alright, that went well. Victory over the boar. I don't know if we should be proud of that, but yeah, we won against the boar. How may I help you? Let's make sure we get the meat out because, well, it's worth it. We can use it. Uh -huh. And now some of the buildings here might have gotten a bit damaged. I so will have to repair them. Some silver stolen again. Specialists on the world map is ready. Ah, we got the fuel. Perfect. You return to the colony. That should be nice. All stars have taken over an outpost. Oh, that's not good. We'll go chase them soon. Lots and lots of stuff happening. As we battle this winter storm. Three more blight samples to go. Alright, this guy has 20 damage. You can go to the world map. This is 20 damage. You can go to the world map. And these two together can take on the specialists to free this um, survivor zone. Did they only take over this one? Yes. Then there's also some creatures flying around that we might get at some point, but I'm not sure. How are these doing? Uh -huh. Oh, they're okay. They're winning in eight hours. And then we have that mission over. Very good. Hopefully the story continues into something nice instead of all the bad stuff that's happening right now. All right. I think we should... Um, Build extra guard towers for exploration purposes because we can't explore here a lot now. And if we build one here, we can do a little bit more exploring. We can always remove them later on. So let's build one right here. And also build one right here. <laughs> it's in somewhat um, polluted land, but um, should be fine. <laughs> Ooh, minus 11 with the water now. That's not good. We have a few water pieces that aren't working anymore. We build a burner here. Should work on both of them. So let's build a burner there. Let's build this next. Not the towers. They can wait a bit. Five unhappy colonists are threatening to leave again. Yeah, we are now down to only 30 people with poor shelter. That at least helped. We got this done. Very nice. There we go. Whoa. The final bandit outpost falls. Inside the society, the messengers are found unharmed and the people are taken aback. Not having expected anyone to actually come to their aid. The messengers haven't found anyone who has the knowledge or technology needed for the Doomsday Bunker project. Instead, they have learned that everything they need can be found from the wasteland if you just know what to look for. This is the reason why they came here to this place. The people in this society have apparently done some exploring and drawn a map, a rough map of their findings. As the society is now in debt for saving them, they are happy to share this information with their saviors. The information proves to be invaluable. There's a lot of work to be done, but the way forward is clear. All right, let's start gathering knowledge. That's interesting. We have to get to the knowledge part now. With the project now back on track, as the tools to get more knowledge are within reach, a wave of determination surges through the people. They're eager to show their efforts are not futile. There are four main problems that need to be solved. After analyzing the previously discovered bunkers, they all had one or more areas where they had failed. Life support takes care of energy, water, breathable air and other things that keep the place habitable. Medicine are all the facilities and systems to keep the people living there healthy. Defense to protect the place from all threats, whether they come from outside or from within. And lastly, the facilities to uphold the ecosystem that make the place self-sustaining. With its own food production, 
Use the newly discovered information to find good areas from the world map, build engineer outpost and start gathering knowledge. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's return these people to the colony. They really have to do some serious healing. So let's hope we don't run into enemy fire because then we'll have a problem. Something was happening in the colony. A new fungus has been found. Oh boy, so much is happening. Fascinating fungus. Some colonists have found an odd bright red fungus that seems to be resistant to the harmful effects of the pollution deposits near it. Some resources could be used to cultivate this fungus in a controlled environment and see if it can be used to help with radiation sickness. Well, if we had enough antibiotics we could use plenty of resources, but we can't. We could use some resources or we can do nothing. Option 2 or option 3. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, some kind of pollution. I've never seen such a big patch of pollution before. Really interesting. Gonna take quite some time to get rid of it. But um, luckily the um, thing is closed. Alright, let's use some resources. Oopsie. The fungus is grown in a medical tent and tested against radiation sickness, both internally and externally. The test yield no result. Additionally, the fungus turns out to have properties similar to mold and that it's both allergenic and spreads aggressively. It quickly eats its way to the structures of the medical tent, polluting it. Some extensive repairs is needed to salvage it. Okay. Well, it's not that bad and we need to just repair it. So that'll be fine. But... Um, yeah, our environmental station will have quite a bit of work to do here. Luckily it can, so that is not a real issue. We can deal with that. Medical tent damaged, four irradiated and four malnourished. That's all that's happening. So we are okay. Not that bad. Although we still need a little bit more water. So let's get this done. And fix things. Now let's see, I think we can now build the engineering outpost. Yes. Where we can build our engineers to um Ah, small pollution patch down. Okay, that's good. Uh let's just start up here now then. That should be interesting. Ah, the guard post here is done, so we'll do some extra research now. With the engineers we can start to gather knowledge, but we have to turn specialists into engineers. So I'll be a bit hesitant with that. Bummer. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Guard post. Very good. Another guard post ready. The one up here. Well, this will get um, a lot of people sick that work there, actually. But that's okay. At least as we can do some research now. Five colonists irradiated. A lot of people are getting sick, so let's speed up the uh, healing process of them. And we finally made a little growth spurt again, up to 113 people. And our zone here is freed. Great. Let's keep going on to the attack. Are there people in here? Yes, five. Let's take them in. Interesting. Well, we're getting further and further. This burner is ready. It just needs to be um, filled with some stuff. Firewood in this case. We've burned through 110 firewood so far during this winter storm, which is not that bad. We still have some to spare. It would be nice if the firewood would actually get in there. Uh, let's see, because I think what could help is... Build a bit of a road network here. To speed things up a bit. Engineering depot is ready. Oh, a lot of colonists get infected. That's usually a side effect from the winter storms. That a lot of colonists get infected. Now we have four medical tents. We definitely need another one. To deal with all the sick all the time. So let's build another one. Seven hours before those unhappy colonists will leave. I think we need to turn a few specialists into settlers soon. Because we need to get um, those fun boxes. In order to build all the uh, entertainment buildings. And so far we're not getting a lot of fun boxes. So we should be getting one here for instance. 
But we also need to start gathering knowledge for the project. So basically we need to do a lot. Which is a good thing of course because that will mean a lot more streams to come. But it can also be quite a daunting task to do all those different things we still have to do. Almost out of metal here. Still some plastic there. Ah, yes, there we go. We can now get the extermination post. Upgrade the multi-purpose scavenger building. Generates moderate amount of pollution. Can exterminate the nests. All right, we can now start to exterminate the nests if we upgrade it. So let's go with that. We're not going to get into the... Ooh, interesting. Breakthrough discovery. Hadley approaches the haste and look with haste and looking excited. I think we are onto something great. I found a way to create antibodies that will help to remove the plague and heal the soil under our feet. We can make the land fertile again by turning the blight infestation into something good. The colony can soon start transforming the soil. Research transformers in the blight lab to terraform the soil. This is just the first step, but further experimentation can lead to more efficient terraformers to push back the blight and turn the wasteland into a green paradise. Now that sounds good. That'll do. Great work. Alright, let's see, because I think now we can upgrade this one. Yes. Do we have the resources? Yes. So let's upgrade this one, because then we can get rid of some of the nests and we won't get attacked that much. Just put two specialists back. That'll do, I think. Uh, put them back to... You mean turn two into settlers for the resources that we need? What's up? Let's see, this one does yes. nine damage, 25 damage and 12 damage. Okay. Hey, wifey! Good evening. Ooh, five colonists left. That's not good. Please bring me an extra specialist. No. That's mighty fine work you've done here. Not many people manage to stick together like this, but you, maybe this will turn out okay after all. All right. Two adults, one child, and three elders. Should we accept these? I think we should. They bring some weapons too. Radiation sickness, but we can deal with that. We get a bit of hope. Ah, I think this is nice. It's really nice that Kevin and Rodog are always around. Just makes my evening every time again. Well, I'm just going to accept these. I want them in anyway. Let's get somebody in here. Let's speed things up so everybody can heal. And okay, <laughs> I hope the winter storm will pass soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to keep a few more specialists at home right now for all the fighting and things that we have to do. I'm going to send this one out and this one out right now. Because I actually want to get started to, uh, yeah, to clear out these and we can already clear out this one pretty easily. Uh, I, I just think I'm going to... Um, Ah, that's actually quite tough. I want one specialist turned into a settler to get the um, fun box from somewhere. But I also want one to go all the way down here too. Where is it? Right here. For the extra science. I think that might be worth it too. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. How is this doing? We need tool smithing 500. And then we can get to industrial mining and get those extractors. To extract all the resources from the ground. The extermination post is ready. Alright, let's see. It can gather samples or pollution. Alright, so let's move. Ah, oh, we can put an extra worker in there. Now let's move this. Can it now clear that? No, apparently not. Okay, so what good will it do us if it can't remove that one? Okay. So we should now be able to get rid of... Cannot remove the cores, but it can remove the nest, the layers, the trees and the corpses. Okay. 
So it cannot get these cores out. This is this is a core. It can't get rid of all the other stuff. Well, let's just start with these trees then. Apparently we have no nest close by. That's the thing. And this is a core, I think. Yeah. Okay, I thought it would be able to get this out, but it can't. Hypothermic 16 infected, so that's becoming less and less. Ah, here we get attacked again, of course. Yes. Let's just put my specialist to work as soon as we see this. There we go. Yes. Hostiles defeated. That's what we want to see. Great. Four samples again. Question is where to go from here. Ah, I think these can go into the uh, okay. yes. attacking these camps too. That could help out. Oh, way too far. This one should go here. That should work out. Well on our way. Great. There comes the specialist. Our guard tower is doing what it needs to do. Moon rocks are depleted. Let's get some more. All right. We need 500 samples now to actually get things done, but we'll see. <laughs> oh well, it has been 10 p.m. here anyway. And before wifey goes to bed, I'll just have a talk with her and uh, make some plans for the week as well. So I'm just going to put this one to an end now. So thank you all for being here. Thanks so much for the fun, for the laughter, for the support, for the encouragement and all the nice things. And uh, I wish you all a great week. I hope you enjoy your free day, Kevin, tomorrow and then uh, back to work. I hope to see you all Wednesday, of course, when I'll be there for another stream. Probably with a lot of pissed people because we're not doing Ostrov anymore. And um, then all will be fine. But... Um, I wish you all the best, stay healthy, stay happy, and then I'll see you at least on Wednesday. Thanks so much for this evening, had a blast, thanks for all the help, see you all next time, bye bye.